Good evening. This is Left, Right and Centre. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Five Bengalis are killed in a cold-blooded murder in Assam, sparking off a wave of protests and political controversy as West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee licks it to the National Citizens Register issue. Is there a link to the NRC as Mamta claims or is this cynical politics? Well, the five Bengalis were shot dead last night in Assam's Tinsukia district by armed, masked and uniformed men. No one is quite sure who they were, but it is suspected that the Ulfa did it. However, the Ulfa independent led by Parish Barua has denied any link to the killings. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, however, immediately saw a link with the National Citizens Register exercise in Assam, where people have to prove that they are genuine Indian citizens by submitting documents. The NRC will include the names of all Indian citizens who have been residing in Assam before March 25, 1971. The Trunamool and the Congress held protests across Bengal today against these killings. 40 lakh people were left out of the citizens list that was published earlier this year in July and they have until next March to come up with the right papers. Mamta has alleged that the entire exercise is aimed at targeting Muslims, Bengalis and Biharis, calling this the politics of divide and rule. It is a, an act of cowardice. This particular situation is being created by a section of Organization, parties, people's representatives, and media and social media through their inflammatory statement and hat messages. The Trinamool Congress, we raised this several times in Parliament. It was raised not as a political issue, but as an issue of human rights. That was in uh, July, on July 30th. Then. The following day, on July 31st, as many as four members, MPs, my colleagues from Trinamool Congress, raised this issue in uh, Parliament. Well, do these killings have anything to do with the NRC issue, as Mamta Banerjee claims? Joining us on the program tonight, we have Sushmita Dev Lok Sabha MP of the Congress, Mahua Moitra, leader of the Trinamool Congress. Upmanyu Hazarika is a senior lawyer. He's joining us here in the studio, and uh, we'll be joined by, re by the rest of our panel very short shortly. Uh, Mahua, if I could ask you first, how is the TMC so sure that, that this is linked to the NRC and that this is not... Uh, you know, just a terrorist group that is striking as it has done in the past. Uh, look, Nidhi, um, we, uh, no one can be 100% sure, but everyone works on the basis of what is, what is available to them. And if you see that the last time this happened in Assam was during 1982 to 1984, during the Bengali Kedau Andolan. Since then, we have not had targeted attacks on Hindus and targeted attacks on Bengali Hindus specifically in Assam. But what you saw yesterday was targeted attacks and killings of five Hindu boys, um, lower caste Hindu boys, Namashudros, which were part of the lower caste Hindu community, which were singled out and killed. We haven't seen that in 30 years. Now, of course, you could say that uh, they were killed by X or Y, but we've got to go with the balance of what is there in front of us. And if you see what the situation in Assam has been, and we've been following it very closely, uh, coupled with the NRC, what we've seen are very inflammatory comments. If you see the comments of Sheila Ditya Dev and the comments of Minan Hazarika, and I'm just going to put them out there, Sheila Ditya Dev has gone on record saying that uh, these are Mias. He's, he calls Mias as all Muslim. He's, all the Muslim um, non-Assamese non are all Mias who are all jihadists and uh, you know deserve to be killed. That's the first. And no action has been taken against him. The second is Manal Hazarika, who's a pro-alpha leader, who has gone so much as to say that, uh, make this like 1982 and 1983, drag the Bengalis out of their houses, uh, identify them, put up posters against them, make sure they have nowhere to run. So this has been going on. So an initiated atmosphere like this, which has been egged on by BJP leaders, BJP MLA. I mean, Chiraditya Dev is a BJP MLA from Hojai. No action has been taken. An incident like this happens. It hasn't happened in the last 20 years, the last 30 years. I mean, I lived in Assam in 1982 to 1984. We know what we went through. So, um, okay. I mean, I, I think we're absolutely correct in assuming this is linked to the NRC. And 17 Hindu Bengalis have committed suicide since the entire NRC process started for fear of persecution. So and let me ask Mr. Hazarika here. Sort of Mr. Hazarika is here with us in the studio. Uh, the TMC does see a link to this simply because A, something like this has not happened in so many years in which uh, Bengalis have been targeted yes. like this. Do you see a link? 
No, not at all. In fact, the first thing is there are five laborers, people who lived on daily wages, who would be driven over the edge into poverty, their families, who have been killed. Leave aside the Bengali part. Mohamitra, you know, so this is a typical political posturing which is happening. She's pressed the right political button, so to speak. She's pressed the Bengali button. She's pressed the Namusudra button. You know, that's the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe. So all that kind of thing, all those buttons have been pressed, addressing the particular constituencies. Now today, and let me tell you now, and what she says that 82 to 84, that 85, 17 and 85 Andolan was actually a foreigner's Andolan. I have lived, lived, I have lived and grown up in Assam and during that point of time. There is a language conflict, there is a, there is a history of a language conflict between the Assamis and the Bengali, but which got over in the 1960s and early 70s. So that was not there when, uh, during the time that factually she is wrong and she is mistaken, that is one. Two, let me tell you now, all the Bengalis who live in Assam, they, I mean, they are perfectly fine, they were perfectly fine with the NRC. In fact, they have gone a step further, uh, the old traditional Bengali organization, saying that we want a cutoff date of 1948 like the rest of India. They oppose the citizenship amendment bill which brings in the thing. So the point is, this whole situation is, and, and let me tell you, everybody in Assam is amazed at the way these situations have been contrived. So About why are people committing suicide? Why have 17 just, Let us get into the NRC, that, that, that's something else. No, no, I'm no, 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 just a minute. No, I, no. I, I, let us not distract from today's thing, no, that's another subject. Yes. Today, we are now no, talking... No, if they're happy with it, just, why are they committing suicide? It's a follow-up question it, it, to what you said. These are, they, are, they are happy in the sense, they, are, they take positions. You see, you've put my word into my mouth. What am I saying is that they agree to situations which even traditional indigenous organizations don't agree to. They are saying that instead of 71, some of them espouse 48 as a cut-off date. Leave aside now, let us not get into what, what is included and what is not included to be in RC because it's indigenous communities. So no, no, I don't, no, please just a minute. Let well, me get on to this Bengali you, thing. You, you, Le, one second, you don't need to raise your voice. Yes, we no, can, I'm we not. Go, I just when, want to complete when, the, May I just yeah, complete yeah. So, I, 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 Sorry, I'm just trying to understand your point. Are you saying that the Trinamool Congress is just playing cynical politics here? No, no, this is whole situation is contrived. We don't know. Who's it's doing. a contrived situation. This is why it's happening. Why I'm saying there's a conspiracy. But a year and a half ago, you had some gentleman who comes from an organization based in Nagpur who created an inflammatory situation in March, uh, in 2017 March, that created the whole ruckus. Then now in the last two months, you've, in the last, particularly last one month, you've had people, newly sprouted organizations professing to espouse the Bengali cause who have gone on this hate campaign. Now suddenly they call for a ban, they call for uh, a rally on the 17th of November. Suddenly in the last month and a half, Assam has been in a turmoil and this is I think a build up. So therefore we need to get into the root cause of this. Who is doing it? Because these are people who are newly grown organizations. There is one so of them. Who, who is doing it according to you? You see, at the end of the day today, I would put it this way. The government has to take responsibility for law and order. They have to come clamp down heavily on this. Now, there is a compulsion of politics as, as far as I can see because law and order today is the first priority which has to be done. Because today even after the Alpha has disclaimed responsibility for this. So obviously, it, it is, it, there, there would be someone who, uh, the, uh, because now the Bengali vote as a vote has become very important post NRC. So you are saying this is vote bank politics. So Shmita Dev, uh, can I take that to you? Uh, what's your reading of the situation uh, you know, on the ground there? So Shmita, I mean, is this all contrived, a contrived hate campaign as, uh, as Mr. Hazarika is saying? Or, you know, is, is there a genuine sort of uh, fear on the ground and targeting of uh, people? See, let me first say in the beginning that I am a Bengali from Assam. So I think I'm in a better position to say uh, where we stand and what we are feeling than TMC and Mr. Hazarika. First of all, it's not true that all Bengalis are opposing the citizenship bill. That's completely incorrect assessment. That's a complete uh, falsification of facts. They are, they are terrified since the NRC started. And the reason for that is there are a lot of poor people who are unable to produce the documents that are being required to be produced by the state coordinator. He has consistently changed the goalpost. It is not just about Assamese versus Bengalis. Obviously, if you have a Bengali name and a Bengali surname, you have to work much harder to prove that you are an Indian citizen, which somebody with a typical Assamese uh, surname does not face that problem in Assam. That is the natural consequence of uh, the NRC process and no one can shy away from that. Now, people are rotting in the jail because they are being marked as de-voters. They are petrified of what is going to happen to them. As a nation, we do not refoul uh, people, we are anti-refoulment, but what do we do with them? Because the staunch Assamese people are saying that we are not letting them uh, stay in Assam. So, 
in the middle of all this we have so many political statements which are unnecessarily aggressive we have dr hemant bishwa sharma and shila ditya saying anti muslim things we have ranjit datta saying forget about 2 lakh bangladeshis we are not going to allow to i mean there are whole lot of irresponsible statements that are flying around and the government is doing nothing if bengali associations wanted to demonstrate on the streets of guwahati so what why weren't they allowed in a democracy can you ask a linguistic minority of a state to say oh you can't demonstrate on the streets because some random fundamentalist assamese leader is saying you can't the government should have allowed it it wasn't allowed that's also fine but i i will say as a bengali of assam that today tinsukia and dibrugarh districts there is a band and believe me those those two districts are dominated by assamese people but they have taken part in that band they have shut down everything which means that a common man of assam whether he is bengali or assamese does not want violence the chief minister has lots to answer for what is his ib input alpha in writing has denied this who are these people who have murdered okay. five Sushmita, people let me take blood. what you're saying and to mr and is it incidental that all of them are bengalis uh, yeah well i mean that is an important point i mean there are many mr kalyan barua answered who's the bureau chief of the assam tribune is also joining us mr barua how should we look at these developments because uh, i guess sometimes in delhi we remain so cut off from what's happening on the ground in assam we've been reporting on these suicides for instance that have been taking place but there seems to be a sudden flare up uh in in the last few days why is that happening yeah first <laughs> let me tell you tension has been simmering in assam for last couple of months there have been provocation provocative statements from both sides from the bengali groups from the assamese group from the surrendered alpha who had no business to interfere in what was the going on and you see two ba- major exercises are going on at the in assam at the moment one is the nrc exercise the other is the this tension over the citizenship amendment bill now uh, we, within all this the state government is basically clueless it doesn't know how to handle the situation this provocative statements statements should have been definitely avoided which led to tension and you see the militant out of do alpha has denied the killing the group the prime suspect is the alpha independent group because in the past they are known to have indulged in such kind of violence they have targeted the bihari hindus living in assam they have targeted communities uh, uh, other than assamese they have targeted them all over assam and they are known to target people uh, and t- take advantage of the situation now the situation is uh, in assam the citizenship amendment bill has emerged as a major issue the nr uh, the nrc exercise is in the middle of the thing because the supreme court yesterday allowed 15 documents and then the issue of devoters now the, the problem of devoter is that the devoter was started not by the state government not by the central government but by the election commission because they felt that there were certain doubtful citizens and they created a category for the first time in india which is called the devoter category now if you challenge it in this foreigners court and if they find you that you are a foreigner they put you behind the detention centers and and of course the detention centers are in a very pathetic state and the human right there are definitely uh, human right violations which uh, the national human right commission also pointed out so th- all this thing has uh, the situation basically in assam is very volatile Absolutely. and if it is not handled with care this is i believe the yesterday's killing is just the beginning we I will see more of it